It is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you not only a, a great gentleman, but a cowboy's cowboy. I don't know how many of you are left. I don't think many, Ben, but this is the one and only Ben Johnson. And uh, Ben, you don't, not only do you have a special sound with that voice of yours, but you have a special look. And I, I guess that's why you're such a, a famous character and lead actor that not everybody has that special look. And I think of you with, with in the category of the Slim Pickens and the John Waynes and uh, I mean you're, you're the uh, there, there aren't any real cowboys left around I've outlived a lot of them <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you my really my only claim to fame is I've helped John Wayne's horse for 40 years <laughs> <laughs> well you were in speaking of John Wayne you were in some of his some of his better if not best yes movies. sir I did a lot of shows with him uh, he and John Ford they were sort of my education in the picture business and uh -huh. uh, I think I was very fortunate to be to work with them you know yeah. was it a sad thing when John passed away yes sir it was the whole country lost a great man when they lost him yeah. he was an American and he didn't mind telling you about it well I'll, I'll be honest with you those were some of the qualities that I admired you and bet. don't find in, in too many anymore and uh, you know, there, there's not enough I could say about the man and uh, many others, such as yourself. Uh, you were recently with the International Western Market. Uh, that was the 29th semi-annual convention at the Sahara Hotel with Mr. Herb Ellis. Uh, this was a, a convention that I personally loved because I saw all the, the finest hats like uh, Ben <laughs> is wearing and, and Western clothes. And it, it's a it's a great convention that are held here. Yes, it's uh, people from all over the world comes here for this convention, and uh, I'm very proud to be a part of uh, the Tony Lama group, you know, mm -hmm. Mr. Herb Ellis, who's the head of it. Right. And, uh, of course, we've got uh, Festus, and we've got Slim <laughs> Peckins, and we've got uh, yeah. a lot of us oldies. Uh, they're, <laughs> they're kind of representing, you know. Oldies but goodies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's a great show, and uh, the last <clears throat> time I saw Ben was at the uh, Benny Binion night, uh, a salute and honoring Benny Binion, and that was that was beyond anything I have ever seen in Las Vegas. I've been to some very special events, but I've never seen anything like that, and Ben Johnson was one of the featured guests uh, honoring Benny Binion. Benny and you go back a ways. Well, Benny Binion is a great friend of mine, and most anybody in the world if they need help ask Benny he'll give it to him he's uh, he's a great guy and uh, I think he deserved that honor very much yeah he's helped an awful lot of people in his time and there aren't many Ben that you can say that about and that's right that's right very few anymore most of them shut their mother out in the bicycle race but <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Let me give you some names, Ben, and, and let me see what your reaction is on just some, some names offhand. Howard Hughes. Howard Hughes, I worked for Howard Hughes for five years. He was, he was a great man as far as I was concerned. I went to work for him, let's see, in 1940 mm -hmm. when he did a picture with Jane Russell called The Outlaw. Oh, yeah. And at that time, I was working on a cattle ranch back in Oklahoma, the Chapman Barnard outfit. And he came back there and bought a load of horses to do a movie called The Outlaw. Wasn't that Jane Russell's? It was Jane Russell and Jack Butel. But wasn't that the movie that really skyrocketed? That's right. And uh, so they hired me to bring the horses to Hollywood. So that's how I got to Hollywood. You are kidding. That is fabulous. And the first week I was in Hollywood, I made $175. And in 1940, that's not bad. I wasn't too smart, but I knew there was more than 30. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. Uh, the name Gene Autry. Gene Autry is uh, another personality that has helped lots and lots of people. He does things for people that uh, everybody don't know about. I thought know. so. Lots of uh, children's homes, uh, hospitals, and mm -hmm. whatever. Gene has uh, he's helped them an awful lot. Well, he, his uh, his impression. Is, is very warm and very as a very warm kind man whenever mm -hmm. I see him on television I don't I never see him very little uh, like you as far as mm -hmm. talk shows go and guest appearances because I know you're very busy but when I have seen him he uh, exudes the kindest a lot of kindness and warmth. right right but he's helped you know people like myself in the business uh, 
even Roy Rogers, who took his uh, place at Republic when Gene went back into the Army. Is that how that happened? He kind of, he helped Roy Rogers. What about the name Roy Rogers? How are you connected with Roy? Or have well, you I've just worked with him and hunted with him and one thing or another over the years. He's, yeah. he's a great guy. Yeah, I think so too. Um, and of course, last but not least, John Wayne. Well, like I say, he was sort of my education in the business, he and John Ford. Mm -hmm. uh, the last picture he did, um, he and Ann Margaret did a picture called Train Robbers. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the last picture I did with him. And uh, he sort of gave me the, the yeah. lead in the picture. I, I mumbled all the way through that. <laughs> I want to talk about the the motion. I mean, you've done so many pictures, uh, it's, it's hard to pick out one, but this particular movie, you won the Academy Award for a movie called The Last Picture Show. If I'm not mistaken, that was done in black and white. Yes, sir. And that was 1971, 1972. Now, not only were you given the Academy Award, was it for the best actor that year? Mm, the best supporting, supporting actor. actor. I won the English Academy Award, the American Academy Award, the Golden Globes Award, the People's Award, and the toughest one of all to win is the New York Critics Award. The New York Critics. And I'm the only one that ever won the New York Critics Award 100%. I didn't have any opposition. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't think they're winning an Academy Award in itself is a great honor, but to tag on all the others, that is, I don't think there are probably too many who have accomplished that. Well, to me, it's, it's a great honor because there's never been a cowboy ever win one. You know? <laughs> and uh, to win that many awards, and then I won the world's championship in the rodeo and the team roping in 1953. So... Had you already, well, you had started oh, your yes. acting career and, at uh, that time. You know, that just added to my trophy. Yeah. List a little. The uh, the movie studios don't particularly like seeing you out there. No. <laughs> <laughs> it costs an awful lot of money today to make one of those old pictures, and when they're in production, they don't want you out yeah. taking a chance on getting crippled or something. You know. You know something about the last picture show, Ben. It is. It is. I don't know if it's in the category of one of the classics, but as far as I don't know how much time we have to get into the motion picture making of today, the movie makers of today, but what you did with that movie and what Gary Cooper did with <clears throat> High Noon and what, uh, thank you, Jesse, and what um, John Wayne did with all his great movies, that feel and that mood that you captured in a movie I have not seen in a long time. They, they're still there, don't misunderstand, but they're not like they used to be, Ben. What, what's, the, what's happened? The way that I created that character in my growing up on those old cattle ranches, I had seen these old cowboys uh, try to retire and move to town, you know, mm -hmm. and it doesn't work. You know, they got to have something to do. Mm. That's the way I created uh, my character. But we've got an element of people in our business today that um, it they're pretty hard to work with. Is that you right? You got to wait till they light before you can shoot them. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they're doing? <laughs> I stay in hot water all the time because I can't keep from saying something yeah. about them. You know, I uh, I don't like to work with pot smokers or hop heads. You know, I just Good and man. I'm pretty plain spoken about well, that. I get on the soapbox pretty quick. You know, I I admire that, and we do the same thing here about that. It's a very bad thing, and. It's, uh, I know it's kind of bad to talk about it. No, it's I, a good uh, thing. I'm glad you are. More, the, more but we I can't about help it. it. I'm old enough to, really old enough to know better, but I just right. can't keep mentioning it. Well, uh, we have talked about it a lot on this show, and we will continue to do so. And, and to tell you the truth, whatever you have to say about it, I appreciate very much, because if it gets through to one person out there, you know, who maybe a little light goes on, that that's well, what, not going to get us anywhere, you know? What I'm trying to do today We've had so much trash forced on us in this picture business that what I'm trying to do is to get a company together to make movies that you can take your family to see. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if I can do that, I don't, I don't want to do anything else. Well, uh, you know, Walt Disney's accomplished that for, for many, many years. That's and right. they will continue to do so. And uh, even when they're not a, a cartoon movie, but animated movie, but they, they still have been able to create 
they're still making as much money as anybody. That's right. So it'll always be there. And it shows, tells you one thing, that uh, you can make a decent right. movie that's not dirty, you know. Yeah. When, when is the last uh, major picture you were uh, in, Ben? What's the last major mm. work you've done? Well, let's see, I've got four that's out uh, this past year. A thing I did with Tom Selleck called Shadow Riders. I had Tom Selleck, uh, Catherine Ross, uh, and myself. And uh, it's called Shadow Riser, mm -hmm. Riders. It's a takeoff of uh, the Sackets. I don't know if you saw the Sackets or not. Mm -mm with Sam Elliott and it's a Louis L'Amour story mm -hmm. and we're in the process now maybe doing some more of them. I see. And that's kind of what we're trying to do now. Then I got another one I did with Linda Blair called Ruckus. Mm -hmm. Another one I did for Disney called Tex. Hmm. And another one I did uh, called Swamp Rats which is about people growing up in the swamps and Wow. Coon hunting and whatever. Oh, <laughs> that's great. Now, these yeah. movies were, were out this past year, mm -hmm. 1982, were releases Some in Some of 82. them just now released, yeah. Oh, some, oh, I see, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I read that, and I have even commented on this before, 80% of the movies that were made in 1982 either broke even or lost money. So there's a little, Yeah. not everybody's yeah. making the big bucks. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, <laughs> I don't know, I think some of those pictures that they call westerns uh, weren't western and it was some of the people that they got to make them. Yeah. They, uh, there's some, one of those pictures cost 60 million dollars and they couldn't release it. They called it a western. They couldn't release it? They couldn't release it, never, never have released it and it's been made now four or five years. And 16 million, wow. So, and then there was another one or two that they spent 20 or 30 or 40 million on and uh, can't release them. But that's these kind of people that I'm talking about are making them and I, uh, it ruins the whole business. Yeah. It ruins it for everybody, you know. Yeah. Ben, uh, it, was, it was so nice seeing you at the uh, International Western Market Show at the Sahara <coughs> because uh, I know that the Tony Lama people, Herb Ellis and everybody else, uh, that's sort of your, your kind of people who are there. These are the businessmen and the various representatives of all the top lines in, in Western wear. And I was having fun talking to a lot of the, the people there as far as the Western business itself. We've had some national press that said, well, nobody's buying cowboy boots anymore, you know, and, <laughs> and nobody's buying the hats anymore. You know, I had to laugh because I thought, wh where are they getting this ridiculous... Uh, Tell them to come up and look at Tony Lama's booth and see whether they're, <laughs> whether they're selling any or not. <laughs> well, that's what I know, and I had to laugh at that. You know, it was a big, since the urban cowboy thing with John Travolta, you know, it was a great movie, and, and I guess it did inspire uh, the fashion or the fad of, of Western wear, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's been with us for 100 years, Ben, and it will go on to be with us for another sure. thousand, sure. so. There's still going to be some of us old guys left around <laughs> talk about what we used to do and well, we'll, you know, we'll be aware of them. You know who I love to see Ben at that show? I saw a lot of Orientals, Japanese, yes. people from other countries. Awful lot. And uh, they must look at you when you walk by with sort of a, an awe of, you know, you, you must get yeah. that. We get, we get an awful lot of business from over there. I bet awful so. lot of Western wear goes back there. Well, the name Tony Lama and many others are, are great names and it's nice seeing you associated with such fine people because it's sort of conducive of yourself. Ben Johnson, thank you very much, sir, for taking time to be with us on page five on this Monday morning. And uh, I really hope maybe sometime in the future you can stop by again. We'll probably be running your movie here on uh, page five. We, once, we run some of your greats and uh, it's always, it'll be a pleasure seeing you up there on the Thank screen. you, Dennis. Thank you, sir. Bet you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you, and we'll be right back after this word.